Hi there, I'm the Nature Guy, and I'm back in the weasel corner of the Nature Center at Camp Osable. If you were uh, with us last week, you know that we talked about the weasel family. And I promised that I was going to talk this week about one member of the weasel family. Uh, and, and that is, in fact, the weasel. Um, there are three types of weasels in North America. One is called the least weasel. Uh, there's another one called the short-tailed weasel sometimes called an ermine, and then there's the long-tailed weasel. Well, I was up in Minnesota uh, back in January, uh, and at the bird feeders there, they had some uh, a carcass of a deer uh, that had died that they had kind of strung up in the tree to keep it out of the snow, and lots of birds and mammals were coming to that to feed, to scavenge off of it. And one of the cool things that was visiting when I was there was a short-tailed weasel. And so we were able to get some really great pictures of it. So here's the little guy popping out of the snow. Uh, he was pretty timid at first because there were a lot of birders around with their cameras and binoculars. But uh, he came out, looked around, and ran to this uh, deer carcass and started chewing off uh, pieces. He actually ran back and forth several times, uh, which was interesting to watch. Now, the short-tailed weasel is about uh, 13 inches long, which is right about where this guy was. Um, they have a shorter tail than the long-tailed weasel, but like the long-tailed weasel, it has a black tip. Now, the least weasel, which is the third type, uh, they don't have a black tip on the tail. So it was pretty easy to rule that one out, as you can see here from this picture of his tail. But distinguishing between the long and short tail weasel was a little more of a challenge. You see, in Minnesota, they have all three species. But based on the size uh, of, of the weasel, we were able to determine uh, which it was. Now, this, of course, was winter. Uh, and it's very interesting that they changed their color into a solid brown with just a black tip on its tail and little white feet for this species. Normally, weasels would be catching mice or meadow voles. Um, they'll even catch something as large as a chipmunk or a red squirrel. Uh, I once saw a weasel catching a, it was a long, short-tailed weasel caught a chipmunk and was trying to put it down its burrow. But the weasel and the chipmunk were too big, so the weasel had to set down the squirrel that was already dead. And then uh, dug the burrow bigger around so that he could haul the chipmunk down inside his burrow. So what's the lesson we can learn from uh, the weasel, particularly our short-tailed weasel we've been talking about today? Well, you know, uh, they change colors from, from white to brown each season. It kind of reminds me of a major change that can happen in all our lives. When we accept Jesus, he changes us. And we are a different creature. And that's an incredible gift that he's offered to us. I hope you accept it. That's it for today from the Nature Center at Camp Osable. We'll see you next week. Bye now.